I've bought this IKEA crib a long time ago, uh, approximately a year and a half, maybe two years. Uh, we have no need of it right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, dismantle it and get it ready to move it up in the attic or in the basement or maybe in the garage. So first we grab the uh, lock nut, then I have a hex key to, um, to hold down the bolt while I loosen up the um, lock nut on the bottom. And you have four of these in each corner. Once you take um, this nut and the bolt off, then you could take, uh, it's much easier to take off the bottom piece after that. And that's like the central piece of the whole crib that holds everything pretty much together. So it looks like I got the nut loose just a little bit. Sometimes being that it's a lock nut, it's designed to, even though it may seem loose, it's, it's designed not to come off easy. Uh, you know, and, and that's very important for a crib because when a child jumps on it or uses it, you do not want the bottom board to just fall off that might cause an injury to the child. So uh, there's also a washer there, just a regular washer. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and that's what it looks like with the nut on the bolt removed. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove all the other four. And as you see, it's just that hook there. Easily comes off, and there's uh, four holes. So just to put it, I'm going to put it back where it was um, so that I don't lose any hardwares. If I need the crib in the future, I will have all the pieces of the puzzles together. So I don't have to, one, figure out where the next one goes, you know. And then the second thing I did was I took the nut off with the hex key on one of the long sides. So what that would do is that would uh, have three other side of the crib still intact while I remove one of the big sides. And then the second step is gonna be, as you will see, I will take off the second big sides. So this, you have two on, you have two screws on each side. Plus there's uh, also a special nut. I do not know if you could see um, on the horizontal part of the frame. I must say though, IKEA designed the crib very well and it's very sturdy, uh, it made out of real wood, not composite wood. Uh, you know, we loved it, you know, just that the, uh, the baby didn't use it. Um, this is how it goes. You have a um, hole on top, a hole on the bottom, and this is the special uh, nut that goes in, aligning it with the nut and it goes right in. You see the um, the cut in the, in the head of the nut faces to the direction of where the bolt is going to come in. And that's how all the four corners were. So I took that off. The, the first side and the second side then uh, the um, ends were just came off and I'm now I'm stacking up one on top of the other so that I will be able to wrap everything together Please don't forget to like and subscribe the video if you find it useful. Thank you for watching.